In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these shortcut buttons across the bottom of the uh, Pioneer SmartSync app go away so they don't repeat the same buttons that are on the Pioneer SPH10BT. So right now I have no connection from the SmartSync app to the in-dash receiver. The first thing I want to do there is make a connection. Uh, so I'm going to press the telephone button here, and that shows me my device list, and my Pixel 2 is the actively connected phone. That's what we want there. So I'm just going to start the app. And when the app starts up, I'm going to, that may automatically connect for you depending on your phone. If it doesn't, just press and hold the telephone button for a couple of seconds, and that will make the connection. As soon as we see the illumination across the bottom here and we see app link, we know we've connected to the app. We can say OK there and we're up and running with the Pioneer SmartSync app. So the SPH10BT is built to operate with the SmartSync app and it has some uh, repeated operations um, or shortcut operations on the screen and on the in-dash receiver. So you can see I have the music notes here and I have the music notes here microphone for voice activation in both places, navigation button in both places, this is check my messages and make phone calls. So maybe the first thing I want to do here is get rid of these shortcuts across the bottom of the screen because I have the same shortcuts on the in-dash receiver. So I'm going to touch the gears up here and I want to go to the app settings and under the app settings see shortcut buttons here, I'm going to switch that off. There we go, so now my shortcut buttons are switched off when I go out, you can see that the shortcut buttons are gone from the bottom of the screen, and I'll use the shortcut buttons that are on the in-dash receiver. 